Hey guys, welcome to episode 27 of Tony Karim. We start with a league table, which I'm sorry I forgot to put in uh, the last episode. Also, we see a bit of bad news. Danny Narsing's going to be out for three weeks, but we have a monthly scouting update from Norway. We decide to reject one player and continue scouting two, and also one from Italy. Uh, I think we rejected two players off this and signed one. Yeah, there's the one that we signed. Oh, we carried on scouting two and signed one. The guy who we scouted looked really good some good potential from the finish one uh, we're not really getting much good players from that we reject two and continue scouting one and also we have a youth squad monthly report uh, which I'll eventually click on three players in there um, two of them able to promote the guy who I just got from my monthly scouting report can be promoted and also Albin Lato and Bozhinov says sell me in the next transfer window I don't know why he said this, because him and Driassi are my starting strikers, and also Ferranetti says sell me in the next transfer window, which if I can get some good backup instead of him, then I will definitely sell him. I do not mind doing that because he doesn't really play many games, and the first episode, the first game in this episode will be against Atalanta at home. Atalanta are below us in the league, so this is a very good chance to uh, get three points against uh, a team who are below us, but... This season, we expected a relegation battle, and so far, we've got nothing of the sort. I don't know how we're doing so well with, with the worst squad in the league. I'm going to be honest, it probably is the worst squad in the league. Not for me, because I love playing with it. But in the 20th minute, Massey just knocks over his man, and the referee does not give a penalty, which is good for us, but I feel a bit sorry for Atalanta. And as Dennis has played forward in the 32nd minute, he goes past his man. Probably should have carried on running, but he gives it to Bercelli. Slots it in towards Carmona. Brignoli makes a brilliant save. But it comes to Zappa Costa on the right-hand side, and Brignoli makes another superb save. And in the 52nd minute... Bozhinov goes through on the left-hand side. Great um, chance for him to boost his morale, but his shot goes, uh, hits the post and goes wide. And in the 67th minute, they would have a chance to break the deadlock as De La Sandra takes on Meccarillo once, beats him once, and beats him twice, gets inside, tries to curl it. And if the defender got anything, even a touch on that, that would have gone in. But it went wide, luckily for us. And then the 84th minute, Bozhinov gets inside and gives us the winner. So the man who recently said, sell me, has just beaten his man, cut inside, shoots on, I think he's left-footed, uh, so that would be his weaker right foot, but anyway, it's a superb finish into the corner, and with under five minutes to go, we get the lead. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I think the goalkeeper maybe should have done better from that. I think he probably should have done better as Bozhinov gets his first goal in this area, and just while I'm saying this now, if you hear me have a cold in any of these videos that is because I've had like a cold for a week running now and it just won't seem to get any better we do win the game 1-0 and yeah um I have to offer Alberto massive contract because he's recently got to 70 overall and he says he wants some more money he does luckily accept that because uh I think he's um well he's not our best player but I believe he's our captain and now here it is we're against Juventus away it's going to be Juventus against Terni or as it's says in the league uh, Tanana so we've played set, um, six one three drawn two lost one and they've just done a bit better if you can convert one of them draws into a win so they've had um, an average start to be honest they probably would want to go unbeaten up until now uh, but we have to use our second team for this match our second team is still uh, average I'll do a bit of work on that uh, next season if we do get time because it's mid-august now and obviously i think fifa comes out late september if um if i know rightly and they do have the first chances brignoli makes a save and at half time it's still nil nil so we were on course to hang on for a point which would be very good but in the 49th minute tevez now boca juniors man whips the ball in towards fernando urente who's one of the best players in the world in the air but for some reason he missed the chance and in the 56th minute they apply, apply more pressure as de kegley is on the right hand side whip Whips in towards Marquisio. He tries to chip Brignoli, but our smallish goalkeeper makes it absolutely world class save. And in the 62nd minute, another chance for them. Relentless pressure from the, um, I believe they're, well, not the Catalans. I should know better, but they do score um, with Asamoa. And they put, well, he puts them one up. So, quickly, a thing I want to talk about is I'm going on holiday soon. 
So that means um, for two or three days there won't be any uploads. Sorry about that. Uh, I can't help going on holiday, and I want to give myself a break. If you know what I mean. In the 90th minute, I'll t I'll sorry. I'll talk about that in a bit more detail in an advanced warfare video soon. I have to try and record one today. Unfortunately, in the 90th minute, uh, Juventus score again to go 2-0 up, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, they carried on the pressure when they went 1-0 up, they just didn't want to stop scoring, and they went to get a bit better goal difference, and they do win the game 2-0, the game so disappointing from us, but I'm glad that wasn't a 6-7-0 job, but that is the end of the episode, so for the next episode very soon.